Hey guys, uh, this is Lucid. We are going to be talking real quick about temperature scales. Um, I have a spreadsheet I made. I'm going to pull that up in a quick minute. But before I do that, I just want to talk about it a little bit from uh, the Pretender Creation screen. So uh, if, you, if you don't really understand how temperature scales work, basically all nations have a preference. Right now I'm using man. Actually, we'll just go back and click on another one. So um, so like man, oh wait, uh, like Marignan, they prefer, oh, they're actually neutral, which is kind of funny. Um, Calum, we prefer cold three, right? But then man, we have uh, neutral preference, whereas Abyssia, they prefer heat three. So whenever you pick a nation, uh, by default, it's going to put in whatever their heat preference is. So because man has a neutral heat preference, it'll start with zero. But if you pick like uh, Calum, which likes cold, you'll start with cold three. And then any deviation from your preferred temperature will cost you design points or free up design points, not cost you. Um, it, the only way it costs design points is by actually having your temperature preference. So um, that is a kind of very basic important thing to understand. Um, the real reason I'm making this video though is because a lot of people end up dumping temperature scales all the time. Like, oh, it's a free scale to dump. Like people say that about luck too. Um, and if you're watching my yummy video, you will know that um, I, I disagree uh, fervently at times. So um, let's talk about it. Uh, what does this scale do? Um, if you take a hit in it, if you deviate from your preferred temperature preference, you get a 5% income penalty. Um, and what that means is, uh, for the most part, for most of the year, uh, you will probably not be the preferred temperature preference in your dominion or in all of your provinces. And for each, in each province, uh, each scale, like each temperature scale that that province is off, from the the preference of your nation you will take a five percent penalty um the next best income scale is well kind of the best income scale is growth because you also get the population growth on top of it which is important over time um but four percent you know that's a lot like production is three uh, order is two but then you also get the unrest reduction which does affect income but um, this is a very important income scale. Like nominally, it's the highest at five percent. Now, if you're a cold two nation and you go all the way to cold three for your per for your actual dominion, like you prefer two, but you select three, um, it's actually not going to be that bad for you because during the summer, uh, your cold three will actually revert down to cold two or cold one, um, and that's going to be nice for you. You actually get like a nice little income bonus during that period of time. Uh, that will be negated by the fact that. You know, for the spring and fall, when you have kind of a neutral uh, effect of the of the seasons on your dominion temperature, uh, you'll be taking a, a five percent income penalty. Uh, but then again, during the winter, you can't go any farther than cold three. So during the winter, you would already be at cold three, so you don't take a, an additional penalty. So when you're at the basic rule is when you're at heat two or cold two, you definitely want to go to heat three or cold three, um, unless you need to like completely sacrifice your scales to get a bless. But those are kind of like the no-brainer things. Um, what is much less obvious is if you're at heat one or cold one, or if you're at neutral temp temperature scales, what you should do. Uh, and that's why I'm going to go ahead and pull up the spreadsheet after this. But uh, it's important just as a point of reference, right, uh, is that the product, uh, like growth is 4% plus population growth. Productivity is 3%. Um, and... Uh, income is 2%. So uh, I think I've gone through the basics. Uh, the other thing that's important to say about temperature is that it's going to affect your supplies. Um, if you are, for example, uh, like you take a minus 30%, if you take death on top of that, you can get some pretty ridiculous supply reduction. This should affect enemy armies in your territory. So like if you're Abyssia, you're almost always going to be heat three, death three, If especially like if a cold loving nation comes wandering into your territory. Uh, they are going to get uh, like a big supply penalty, which can make it pretty difficult to move uh, armies through your stuff. Um, anyway, that's basically all I, I want to say for the, the Pretender design screen. Uh, now we're going to come here and, uh, and look at this spreadsheet. So uh, I'll put a link to this in the description, but uh, basically this is kind of the important part here. And uh, the way to read this chart is... Uh, if your nation's temperature preference is zero or one or two or three, and in your dominion, uh, you take this uh, as your 
uh, preferred temperature scale. So the way to read this is if you have a neutral temperature preference and you take neutral uh, temperature dominion, uh, then this will be the effect on your income. So uh, even if you take like perfect temperature scales, you still get a temperature debuff basically on your income from what it otherwise would have been because you will lose income in the winter and the, in the summer. Um, but this, this delta column is saying, okay, well, you're, even if you have perfect scales, you're going to lose some. So what is the effect of the scale that we've taken over perfect scales? And in this case, it's zero because we took kind of perfect scales for temperature. So, uh, anyway, that is that. Um, now, uh, yeah, so if, if we come down to this next one, what this means is if you start with uh, zero temperature, like if you have a neutral temperature preference, sorry, it's... Uh, the new year and you may hear some fireworks in the background but um, and I'm not so lame I'm actually recording this on New Year's Eve this is like the next day and people are getting rid of fireworks but um, yeah okay so uh, if you have a neutral temperature preference but you take like heat one or cold one which is something some which is sometimes something you'll want to do to you know potentially freeze over rivers or something like that uh, if you do that um, then on average, throughout the whole year, you're going to have a 5.8% uh, reduction in income, right? But if you took temp perfect temperature scales, you would have a 3 and a third percent reduction in income. So your delta from taking this is really 2.5%, uh, right? Um, and if we say for how many scale points you, you took, like you, you got basically one free scale from sacking temperature, um, your hit per scale taken is 2.5%, right? Um, so if we come down to two, like if, if you had neutral, neutral temperature preference and you went to heat two or cold two, I, the, the math works out the same for whether it's heat or cold. So this isn't heat or cold specific. It's just your variation from neutral temperature or from heat one or cold one. And I'm assuming if you're going to change, you're going to change in the direction uh, of going to, you know, if you're heat one, you're going to go to heat three. And if you're cold one, you're going to go to cold three. Um, but yeah, so if you have a neutral, neutral temperature preference, you go heat two or cold two. Uh, the net effect will be a 9.5% effect on your income or a 9.6% effect on your income. Um, but again, the difference between that and perfect scales is 6.2%. And uh, the here, the, the hit taken per scale is uh, 3.1%. Um, because now we're basically taking this number and we're dividing it by the two scales that, that we got, uh, from, from trashing temperature. Um, and then you can see the same here for, um, going zero and three. So, uh, basically if you take, uh, if, if you trash your scales, it's not as bad as the 5% that it looks like and the, uh, on the score screen, uh, it is... Basically, growth is still the best income scale, uh, even without the population increase. Um, but this is going to give you um, a, a pretty significant uh, income hit, like 3.3%. This is more than productivity. Um, so yeah, it's going to give you a, a pretty sizable income hit. Uh, if we come down here and we look at uh, the these parts here... Um, this is if you have a temperature preference of heat or cold one, and then if you take heat or cold one. Um, you can see I omitted if you have heat or cold one and you take zero, because basically in this model, I'm just saying you're always going to, if you take a hit to your temperature scale, you're always going to take that hit in the direction of heat or cold three, not kind of going away from wherever you started, which is normally how you do do it. But uh, anyway, um, you can see uh, basically same here, we'd get a 3.3% penalty. Uh, and then uh, anyway, uh, for if you take, uh, if your heat or cold one preference and you go to two, you get basically a 2% penalty, which is basically about the same as you get for going order. So uh, if, if you only care about income, uh, swapping temperature, like if your heat one and you go for heat two, like if you're heat, because that's what this means. Uh, if you're heat one and you go for heat two, it's basically the same as potentially taking order. So um, if you're heat or cold one, you probably would rather have order because you would probably rather have the income reduction rather than 
uh, the scales, uh, or the, the supply bonus, which you get from heat. So anyway, um, in this situation, it probably makes sense to go up to heat two. Uh, but if you want to go to heat three, you can see the penalty gets a little bit more severe in terms of the, the absolute amount of, uh, of income penalty you get per point taken. Uh, so if you're heat one and you go to heat three, you're going to be getting like 2.5%, which is, you know, significant. It's a significant amount more. Um, yeah. So, uh, basically it's a, it's a 5% net, uh, income hit to go from, uh, heat one to heat three, which, you know, it's not bad, but it's more than you would get, uh, from going order. But it's arguable. If you're heat or cold one, depending on what you want to do, you may want to go all the way up to uh, to heat three. But if you really are playing scales and you really want all that income, then this is still an important income scale, even if you have a temperature preference of heat or cold one. Um, so I think that's kind of my message from, from looking at this. Um, th but again, that's if you're playing scales. If, you know... Uh, if you have a heat or uh, or cold preference of two, um, you can see that now the actual income penalty you get from taking neutral scales uh, is less. So there's an implicit bonus just to being uh, heat or cold uh, two or three uh, uh, temperature preference because just by taking uh, neutral scales, you actually get an implicit income bonus, which is significant. You know, it's like 2%. Or one and a half percent. So not super significant, but you know, I mean, it's not nothing. It's not like a rounding error. Um, so anyway, um, and, and the reason for that is, of course, because if you're uh, cold three, you avert the income penalty you get in the winter. And if you're heat two, you avert some of the income penalty you get in the summer. So anyway, that's, that's the reason. Um, okay, so what else? We have... Uh, if we're heater cold two and we go up to cold three, which you almost always want to do, you can see we take a very, very small penalty. It's only 1.25%. So um, this is kind of a no-brainer in terms of income. If you're heater cold two, you almost always want to go to cold three. Heater cold three. Uh, and then this is the final thing. Um, I'll just real quickly talk about this table. Um, this is basically how I generated this table as I put in all the different... Let's go to the left here. Um, I put in all the different heat and dominion preferences. So you could say like, okay, if my nation is a heat preference of zero, but I take, you know, heat or cold two, um, what will this do? And this is basically, these months aren't actually in order, but like, you know, months one through 12, uh, this is the seasonal effect. So like you could say, whoops, you could say this is uh, early summer, late summer, uh, midsummer, late summer, um, early fall, mid fall, late fall early winter, late winter, or midwinter, late winter, and then spring. Um, and then, so it's not really exactly in order with the, the Dominion turn sequence, but whatever, doesn't matter for this. Um, so anyway, if this is the effect, uh, basically it will say, okay, for, for this effect, you're going to get uh, two, which is your preference, plus one, so it goes to three. This would be two plus two, so that would go to four, but it can't go higher than three. And basically does this, and then based on whatever your scales are versus your preference, it's going to say this is what your income uh, detriment is, uh, and then it's going to give you an average for the year, and that is the number that uh, we plug in over here. So if we're zero and go to two, you can see that this 9.58 corresponds to the net effect here, and the delta is just the difference between that and that. So anyway, this is a little table I made. Um, Anyway, the, the simple takeaways from it, again, are if you're heat or cold two, you always go to three. Uh, there's an implicit income bonus in being uh, heat or cold three as a nation. Uh, and then if your temperature preference zero, uh, you may want to go to heat or cold to either open up mountain passes or to freeze rivers. Uh, it's certainly something that is reasonable to do. But especially if you're a neutral preference, it is an expensive uh, scale to tank. Um, it's less expensive if you're heat or cold one to tank all the way to three, but uh, it's certainly not free. And if you care, care about uh, income and scales, then um, there is certainly a strong argument to make for, uh, for keeping uh, a neutral temperature preference, even if you're cold or heat one. 
So, uh, but anyway, depending on your build, you may still choose to tank this. So anyway, that is, I think, the summary, and I hope this helps a little bit with, uh, with your pretender creation and games to come. Thanks.